Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I'm going to be talking about new nail polishes that I got. This is the new China Glaze Crackle Collection. Yes, this collection came out about ooh, two, two and a half weeks ago, I believe, on online e-tailers and I placed my order as soon as I found out that Trans Design was pre-selling them. I originally wasn't planning on pre-ordering them because I wasn't sure whether I wanted all the shades and um, I wasn't really positive about them. And then Gina Shroom here on YouTube told me, she's like, oh my gosh, Trans Design is pre-selling the polishes. And I told her I wasn't sure maybe I would wait till Sally's got them. And then I just kept thinking about it and I was like, you know what? I'll just pre-order it. It's not that big of a deal. So I just pre-ordered it off of Trans Design, and um, they finally came in the mail, and I was so excited because as soon as Trans Design stopped doing pre-orders, um, they sold out. And as of now, Trans Design is completely sold out of all of the shades. Um, a lot of the other online e-tailers are also sold out. I believe 88 Beauty is completely sold out. Head to Toe Beauty is sold out. All of the other sites I know are sold out of these as well. The only place I could think to find them is Sally's or Ulta um, if you have an Ulta near you. So that's where I would recommend looking. So in this video I'm going to be talking about the new crackles, showing you guys swatches, and I will be showing you guys a demo of the crackle polishes as well. Okay so this is how all of the China Glaze crackle polishes look and they each come with a little tag that looks like this and so that way you know when they're um, sitting on your vanity or in your um, nail polish storage you know which ones are crackle and which ones are not um, they do say crackle glaze on the bottle itself you can't tell on this one but maybe you can tell on this one it does say crackle glaze on the bottle itself but um, just in case you know if you can't read it from far away you can see the tag now if you guys haven't heard of crackle polishes crackle polishes are actually layering polishes you layer them on top of um, any base color that you want you just apply any base color and you put the crackle on top and it's going to give you this sort of crackle shatter effect now this will only work if you apply it on top of other nail polish and it can be any shade of polish you want in the world it doesn't matter obviously I would recommend um, putting it on top of a color that complements it or one that's you know the opposite so it like contrasts it so that way you can really see the crackle um, and I mean these are just so fun now OPI did come out with a shatter polish recently in the Katy Perry collection so these are very similar to the shatter polish in that they do pretty much the exact same thing but these are just in a bunch of different colors now I know the OPI shatter polish is very difficult to find so if you can't find it this one right here might be a very good alternative this is the China Glaze crackle polish in black mesh that's what it's called and I know China Glaze polishes are easier to find and they're cheaper so if you couldn't get your hands on the OPI shatter this could be a good alternative for you you can find these at Sally's you can find these at Ulta and they're cheaper too um, OPI normally retails for about $8.50 and China Glaze normally retails for about $5.99 so um, these are less expensive so here is a swatch of black mesh right here number 10 um, so you can see how that crackle actually looks on your nail now I have applied this over just an opaque white so I put a white polish down as a base and then I put one coat of black mesh and you can see how cool that effect is I mean it's the most awesome effect ever. This is the next polish in the collection. This is called Lightning Bolt and it is just a creamy white. And here's a swatch of Lightning Bolt number 11 right here. So you can see that it did not crack as much as Black Mesh. And I have a couple, couple theories why it didn't crack as much. First off, I applied Lightning Bolt over a, a completely solid black because I wanted that contrast to come out. Now, the problem with this polish is it is not so opaque that it can go over a dark color like a black. Um, when I applied it at first, it wasn't opaque. Um, it was it kind of looked streaky on top of the black. So I quickly applied another coat and then it got chunky and then it started cracking. So you can see with these crackle polishes, the thinner the coats you put, the better crackle effect you're going to have. And you can just 
see the difference. I mean, this is a nice thin coat and this is a, oh, this one here is a thick coat. So I prefer the look of the thinner coats. Um, so that's why I wouldn't recommend putting this white on top of a black because it's not opaque enough to go on top of a black. And then if you apply more to make it opaque, it doesn't shatter as well. Okay, this is the next polish in the collection. This is called Cracked Concrete, and this is just a creamy gray shade. And here's a swatch of Cracked Concrete on top of white. So uh, this one I got a really nice thin even coat and it looks really, really cool. I really love the effect of this. This is the next one in the collection. This is called Broken Hearted and it's like a bright pink, sort of like a raspberry fuchsia color. And this is also a cream finish. And here is a swatch of that one, number five right here. So once again, I got a nice um, coat on this one. This is a very, very, very opaque pink, which is awesome because you don't see really opaque hot pinks all that often and the fact that this one is very opaque and it crackles that is super cool this is the next polish in the collection this is called crushed candy and this is virtually an exact dupe of four audrey just in crackle form so it's that perfect tiffany blue and there is a swatch of it number 13 on this wheel so hopefully you can see it is Virtually an exact dupe for for Audrey, but it's just in crackle form and this is the last polish in the collection This is called fault line and this is like a bright Purple shade and this one does have Slight shimmer in it. This is like a frosty finish crackle and here is a swatch of this one So this one did not crackle as much as the other ones even though I did apply a thin coat so I can tell that this one is going to be a little bit trickier to work with than the other ones. Okay, so some quick FYIs for you guys on crackle polishes. All of the polishes in this collection are cream finishes except for the purple. Because of the frostiness of this shade, I feel like the crackling effect isn't as amazing as with the other ones. Um, I feel like it doesn't crackle as much. Another FYI for you guys. Um, when you apply these crackles, you have to work very, very quickly because they dry super, super fast. They dry quicker than a matte polish does. So when you put them down, you have to quickly apply it and let it be. Don't overdo it. Don't apply um, a thick coat because then you can see what happened with the white one. It doesn't crackle as much. And unless you're going for not that cracked of a look, um, then you could apply a you know thick coat but if you're looking for a super crackly awesome shatter effect like this um number 10 right here then you need to apply a thin coat work quickly work fast and leave it alone don't keep going over the same place more than once another fyi about these polishes they dry matte the crackle effect does dry matte so i recommend applying a shiny top coat on top of them to make it glossy because when you apply the top coat it um really enhances the contrast between the crackle and it makes it look a lot better. You could leave it matte, but I feel like you get the best effect and the most amazing nail art if you did apply a shiny top coat because it just adds to the contrast. Okay, so I'm actually going to insert a clip right here of me doing the Crackle demo. Now, um, the Crackle demo I'm doing is not actually using the new China Glaze ones. It's actually me using the OPI Shatter Polish. It works virtually the same way, and I'm sorry if you guys already saw this demo in my um, OPI Katy Perry collection um, review slash demo video, but I'm going to be inserting the same footage right here just for those of you guys who haven't seen it and who actually want to see how the crackle effect works. Okay, so so sorry if this is an awkward angle for you, but this was the best way I could um, maneuver the camera and still show you the crackle effect of the polish, so yeah. Anyways, we're going to do the crackle on this nail number one. Okay, so let's see whether we can do this while I still show you guys. So we're going to take my crackle and I'm just going to paint one coat of crackle all over the polishes. It's just going to be a little streaky. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be there. And just watch it crackle. Yes, you guys are literally watching paint dry, but that's okay because it's kind of cool. No, I'm not speeding this up. This is 
the exact rate that it's actually drying. Just FYI. So yeah, look at that. Um, another FYI, this polish does dry matte. So if you want it to obviously be shiny, just apply a shiny top coat to it. So yeah, look at that. That is completely dried. That is the crackle effect. Okay, so I think that's everything I have to talk about with these polishes. Um, really quick, really simple. Um, I already talked uh, pretty in depth about the crackle polishes in my OPI Katy Perry collection haul video. So yeah, if you guys are familiar with the Black Shatter by OPI, this is virtually the same thing, just a uh, China Glaze brand. So. I'm very impressed with the China Glaze ones, by the way. They're really nice. I do recommend picking them up if you have the chance. I can just tell that this crackle trend is not going away anytime soon. It's a huge nail polish fad. It's probably the biggest nail polish craze since dual chrome polishes. So this is like a huge thing. I do recommend picking up at least one of the crackle polishes because it's going to be in style a lot. OPI is actually coming out with the whole crackle collection very soon where they are actually having a bunch of primary shades of the crackle polish. Polishes. Like these crackle polishes are, you know, like pink and purple and turquoise and stuff. The ones that OPI is going to release are going to be like a primary um, red, a primary green, a primary red. So um, those I'm looking forward to. I can't wait till those come out. Um, they're also releasing a silver crackle polish in the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean collection, which is also coming up sometime in the near future. So yeah, this crackle fa fad, fade, fad, whatever, is not going away anytime soon. So I totally recommend um, jumping on the bandwagon and trying it out for yourself unless it's not your thing but if you're daring enough to try it out I do recommend uh, picking at least one up and just testing it see what you think of it I think they're very fun very innovative it's a great way to spice up any old nail polish colors you have laying around you know if you're getting bored of the same red that you keep applying you know time after time after time grab you know this like for Audrey color and apply it on top of the red and see what combination you get. I think it would be gorgeous. Oh, and just an FYI for you guys, in case you guys were curious, I did end up getting the uh, new Serena Williams OPI polish. The Serena Williams collection and the OPI Katy Perry collection both had the um, black shatter polish in them. And I did pick up the Serena Williams color. This is in Simply Smashing. And it's sort of like a dirty yellow green shade and it's very very sparkly I wasn't expecting all that sparkle in it but I actually love it I don't have a shade like this it reminds me of a dirty tennis ball and I feel like it's just the power of suggestion or something um but it really does it does look like a tennis ball and I love it and here's a swatch of it uh, number 14 so you can see once it's swatched it almost looks more yellow toned it's like a chartreuse -y color I really really like it. it's very unique in my collection I do recommend it if you're looking for a good kind of chartreuse yellow green it's very pretty so that's it I hope you guys enjoyed my review slash overview video and if you guys have any questions on this collection please feel free to let me know and I will talk to you guys very very soon bye